Hello everyone and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon with Ron Bloodwings. We are going for this Bright Tambourine. And hell or high water, we are getting this Bright Tambourine. Somehow, some way. We're running Vinio, Oreo, Bender's here for stress relief and scouting, and Laris is here for backline damage. Champion missions can have uh, skeevers, which isn't what you're thinking of. And, uh,. They're generally their priority target. They like to be in the back line. So we need good back line damage. Inio is going to run Reign of Sorrows. He's still going to be our primary healer, but I want to make sure he can kill the back line. We will keep Suffer on there. We'll take all the blood because we don't want that to cause a problem either. We'll take the uh, anti-venoms because we don't have anyone who can uh, remove ble bleeds and plates. But yeah, one more. Somehow, some way, this mission will be completed and we will get ourselves a bright tambourine. I don't care how much I have to try to cheese and just take everything as slow as hell, but we are getting this tambourine one way or another. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. That's a nice five battles right in that little area. Alright. Make sure everyone's skills are set up. That is dead. That is dead. And that's why I didn't try to debuff his damage, because he can just do that. Stirring fear consumes the mind. And Laris got stunned. Precision and power. Video's on fire, though. Let's uh, heal. Ooh. Wonderful heal. Sedated. It's another howl off, which robs us of torchlight and, of course, causes stress. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. More this food. That's nice. At least promises success. Hulking Swine Tar. Or the Swine Tar Champion, I should say. The blood quickens. Try to get the debuff. Damn, he resisted. And Laris just can't stop getting stunned. Good dodge. At least that is dead. The 
slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Dazed. Really? Yep. Above That's why you want to debuff them. Executed. At least we got it that time. Exposed to a killing blow. And stunned. A devastating blow. At least he missed. That's probably the only good thing that's happened so far. They have too high blight resist. That's dead at least. Now roll something good, Laris. That's not something good, Laris. At least you dodged. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Because clearly we're going to need a lot of food to heal ourselves. Since Laris can't heal for shit. Claim. Just because I need more healing, because Laris is just Such blockages disappointing at every turn. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Ah, stealth. Artillery counts as AoE, which it does. Excellent. Yeah, he's just gonna blanket fire. Weaken. Impressive. That's dead at least. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That counts as AOA. Ha! Give them no quarter. I can play around your stealth. 
And I'm going to use this guy to get everyone back in shape. Because, oh my god. Laris, you are just the worst. Uh, no point in going for the stun, but I am gonna throw some daggers at him. I need to take away that, uh, bleed, or try to heal with Laris. Inspiration and improvement. We can heal first. Let's weaken his damage a little. And he resisted. You're just not on the ball. Any dodge, but that's fine. Stress. So that'll heal for eight overall, so let's get one on. Okay. Monstrous right. size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. match is struck. A blazing right. star is born. We are somewhat back in gear. Ah, the Skyver. A singular strike. Because I know he's going to go for cripple them. That's surprising, but fine. Now it's getting a little worrisome. The ground quakes. Nice 23 crit. Oh, come on, make connect with this, Laris. Right, the Skyver's almost dead, and the Heaver is dead, most assuredly. The Skyver's at least in a position where it can't get away. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Yep, that's what I was... Ah, oh, we got a triple dodge. But yeah, that triple them is very... Very bad. A death by inches. I want to make sure it's dead. As the fiend falls. Yes, I could damage both of them, but I want to make sure it's dead. That was our biggest threat right there.
Vinny is certainly bleeding for a lot. But it's not like he can't handle it. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Right. all. We are back in business. There's her heels. Leave much to be desired. At least he healed someone. Oreo can't really do anything else in that position. Finally, something. That's fine, I guess. Yeah. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Yeah, we are getting this bright tambourine one way or another. We got a full stack of food, so I will take more crests. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Everyone's passive for now. Is there something I could else I could put on? It's not trained, but at least he'll have a fourth action in that row. We did not bring holy water. But we are here for that tambourine. Double dodge. How quickly the tide turns. That was a big crit. He can still heal himself when his turn comes up. Mortality clarified in a single get the stun. Strike. Yeah, they got the stun. And the mark. Another double dodge. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. It'll die from the bleed. Yeah, they missed. Good. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. That's an actual heal I'd like to see, Laris. Thank you. Take the mark. A time to perform beyond one's limits. There. A nice twenty seven Oreo. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yep, let's keep going. Just that bright tambourine. It looks like the uh, encounters might have been a little front loaded. Sack's empty. Alright, 
let's see what's this way. Yeah, we don't have our herbs. This can sometimes contain treasure. Yeah. Or you're Curious supposed to be the, the awesome grave robber. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Nothing in this room. All right. We've got two more rooms we've got to get to, and then we've got our bright tambourine. Right, we've got enough food for one more hunger event. Another trap. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Alright, we got food, so we're the first test. Now it must be carried home. In better shape now. Another scout. So all we got is a hallway battle. Wish I had brought holy water, but what can you do? That's fine, game. The end I'm getting my bright tambourine, whether you like it or not. into the mud because if there's a blockage in the next hallway I'm just gonna leave there's two free curios that Oreo take the stress heal glittering gold trinkets and baubles Paid for in blood. Already been looted. Alright. We got our bright tambourine. Impossible. Yeah, it's a little bit of gold, deeds, crests. Nocturnal, eh. Tuckered out. Well, that's no good. We don't need Vineo tuckered out. Yes. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. Our beloved bright tambourine is finally here. Cleansing crystal, eh. It's good. Let's actually go for our commander's orders, because that's okay. I mean, not really. You know what, never mind. Let's gather some more blood. We'll take Brent, Duryaz. We, we really need to get a high level, reliable healer. Let's see, characters that can take care of themselves. It's a veteran. Yeah, let's just do this short mission. That way we can uh, try to get some characters leveled up. Take Dell. We haven't we haven't used Dell in quite a long time. Tuckered 
out. Winded isn't the worst thing in the world right now. Definitely want to get rid of Nocturnal. I mean, it's countered by Early Riser, but I'd rather him keep his uh, speed. Virus doesn't have anything. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that, Dacumania. Alright. Anything good here? Nope. Alright, we got the portraits. Let's wait to see if we get enough portraits to max out the training. Alright, so... Short Apprentice. Gather a bunch of stuff. We don't need to train anyone up. They all got level 2 and 3 skills. So we got a Craving and a Knot, so we'll just take 2. Stack and have a food. We got 2 Herbs. Those three keys. And lastly, trinkets. I'd like to get some sun rings at some point. I'll just give Dell some protection. And dismiss his head. Darius, you're going to be our healer, so you'll get the Kyrgyz Charm. I'm going to have to swap your position. Kyrgyz Charm, the Candle of Life. Our Bright Tambourine! Map. This is a short, so we don't need to worry about. Though it does give him 15 accuracy. But since this is an apprentice, it should be fine. We'll do that. And we'll do the crescendo box. Alright, so let's just. Alright, we gotta go back to swap their position permanently. We need holy water for so let's get some money. Do, 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 load up. I knew all these paths once, now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Good scout. These are some relatively big maps for short missions. Although, how did I think about it? Brent can't stress heal in the second position. Let's, let's put him in the third position just to clear up the stress at the start and then we'll uh, let him move back. But yeah, 16 might not seem like much, but it's just so good. No quarter given. And we got Duryaz here for de stealthing. Though Hound's Harry is going to help with that. I wonder if Target Whistle can do it too. I haven't really looked it up. A faint hope blossoms. Yeah, no, it doesn't remove stealth. Duke can just hug his dog. Obliterated. Nice double kill. 
I mean, the good news is that victory. only Duryaz and Brent can heal themselves, so... Yes, the blood. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. No scouting, but we're definitely going this way. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Yeah, not much on this direction, but plenty of uh Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Yeah, the debuff charm is not interesting. Dell's now wasting, so he's back to passive. Which means Brent will probably go craving here soon. That's fine, we still got plenty of blood. It's just nice to have plus loot at radiant light. Because it's just a lot safer when you're me and not very good at this game. Yeah, still plenty of food. In Radiance, may we find victory. Decimated. We definitely want that gone. Duke gets the Crimson Curse. But we're starting to work our way toward the Baron, so... Destroyed. It's less problematic. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Annihilated. I got the room. I'll keep the invitation for now. Serves all this. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. A decisive pummeling. Nice crit from Duryaz. I think we can finally take Brent off stress duty. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Wow, and Dell just outright missed that one, even though I believe he still has faded. Oh well. Good dodge. Let's see. Yeah, he still has faded, so. Alright, well, we're definitely winning this round, so might as well keep Duryaz's stress nice and low. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. These nightmarish creatures can be found. I don't need the dog can for this. Beaten. 
Alright, so there's two obstacles no matter which way we go, so we need both those shovels. Onslaught. Destroy them all. That's dead. I mean, if we happen to find a shambler here, I'd probably go for it. Hug his dog. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Oh. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What don't we think is here? Let's drop the uh, invite. laden with loot are often low on supplies. Yeah, just at dim light we get even more loot. So there's no real negative to having the cartographer's camp. It'll give you even more loot in a dark run if what I'm understanding is correct. And food. Duke is a hungry boy. We're gonna end up using our last torch, but that's fine. That's our last shovel event. Crimson Court stuff, but we got a bandage mob up ahead, so that's good. So that's dead. Gatekeeper dodged. So hopefully Duryaz can connect, or Duke. Ah, Duke missed. Brent connected. There we go. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. And we'll keep going. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I don't have any more keys, so unfortunately our uh, sun cloaks are no longer active. But I'm not too worried, this is our last fight. Very dead. Yay. Now, can 
Dell connects with the Cleave. He does, but he doesn't quite kill both of them. That's fine. Well, stress heal. The thirst. This expedition at least promises success. Drop the key for the bust. Going. So there might be a shallow grave in this last hallway. Yeah, just a couple sacks. That one's empty. All right. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Yep. So now we finally. Had the bright tambourine that I've been wanting. Duryaz gets Nymphomania again. Holy hair, yeah, thick blooded. I do really need to get one of my Vestals leveled up. So hopefully, once we take care of the their Baron, are curious, ooh. and their generosity is notoriously short lived. Ooh, did we get anything good in here, though? Not at all. Yep. Eh, what can you do? Alright. Well, this has been Ron Bloodwings. And I guess in the next episode, we will be going back into the courtyard yet again. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.